It's an absolutely momentous day in the world of Marvel Snap as the widescreen PC client has finally launched on Steam. This is amazing because not only are you going to get rewards for playing the game, including a Dino Mech variant just for starting up your Steam client, but also if you're going to watch Twitch streams, you're going to get Twitch drops, including three special variants that you're going to see right here on the screen with Sunspot, you got Moon Girl, and of course Nightcrawler. These are all cards that are extremely fantastic for you to play with with excellent variants. And guess what? I've been streaming the game since early beta, so if you'd like to get those Twitch drops, I'm going to have a link in the description and in the comment section below. I'll be streaming a heck of a lot over the next week, so be sure to come in, stop by, say hi, and most importantly, get those rewards. I want to say thank you so much for, to Marvel Snap for sponsoring this video because I'm so excited about this PC launch. This, I think, is one of the biggest updates in the history of the game because, as you're going to see here, Destroyer and the legendary Galactus and all these other cards that really showcase why this PC client is as good as it is. It's wonderful to behold, it's the ideal way to play this game, and most importantly, I think it really adds to the immersion. If you're new to Marvel Snap, Marvel Snap has won a variety of different Game of the Year awards for its fantastic gameplay and its inviting nature for players who are both used to card games and brand new to card games and Marvel as a whole. It has over 220 cards with a card being added every single week. But one thing that I truly love is the variants. There's over 1300 variants in the game and honestly they really bring these heroes to life. You might start with something like this but over time you could eventually start collecting all these different variations of the cards and as you split the cards which means you repeatedly upgrade them you get different borders different effects right uh, sometimes you get like this ink based effect right so this is the original card and then this is the ink based, based version right it's a lot of fun and to build this collection out sometimes you get this really cool Kirby crackle effect that it's known for right uh, this is the gold style effect in the background so the collection element of the game is a lot of fun you also have the deck building side as well now this is one of my absolute favorite decks in the game right now it features one of the absolute big bads of Marvel right now and that's Kang the Conqueror and what we have here is a deck that uses She-Hulk Infinite to basically skip turns to basically slam the board with a 6-9 power She-Hulk and a 6-20 Infinite on turn 7 that's generated by magic. Now if you're new to the game and you're like, hey Alex, uh, that deck doesn't work for me because I don't have all those cards. Well don't worry my friend, I've got you. What we got here is a pool 2 devil dinosaur deck to get you started. These are cards that you're going to acquire for in your first like say 30 hours of Marvel Snap or so. You start in pool 1 or series 1 I should say and then what you do is you unlock a variation of different cards as you uh, kind of go up the collection track and then eventually you enter pool 2 or series 2 where you unlock a different set of cards including the collector including uh, Moon Girl actually and others uh, but you're going to be starting with of course Mr. Fantastic and some of the other ones so this is a relatively inexpensive deck Chava is one of the best cards in the game of cards that you're going to get relatively early and if you're new to Marvel Snap one thing I will say do not think that the cards you start with and the cards you get early are not good cards. Some of the cards that you get early in the game are some of the best cards in Marvel Snap. For instance, America Chavez is legitimately one of the best six drops in the game, not because you just play it consistently on turn six, but because it pushes all your other cards forward because you never draw it before turn six. That means that you theoretically have a chance to draw your sunspot earlier in the game, which means that you can play it on turn one and get that value earlier on where you get to draw your Iceman on turn one and disrupt your opponent's hand early in the game. And the way this deck works is essentially you're going to play Sunspot on turn one, you're going to play Armor on turn two, and then you're going to storm that location, which protects the, uh, the Sunspot from a critically dangerous card in Marvel Snap known as Killmonger. Killmonger is a card that will destroy all one drops in the game because some of your pool one decks you're going to see, including my own, are very zoo centric. It's, a, it's an archetype that really works early in the game. But as you enter pool two and Killmonger becomes a factor, this card just wipes out all those zoo decks. So you're going to want to play that armor and you're going to want to protect your one drops, specifically Sunspot behind that armor. You use Moon Girl to replicate your hand, which might even get you two double dinosaurs to play on turn five and to play on turn six and your hands massive because of the replication. This is one of the ways that you can rank up with a pool to deck. Something else that's worth noting about this PC launch is that they've wildly improved the collection screen and I'm actually having a hard time where I should be on the screen as a, I'm covering the deck a little bit here, but I want to showcase the top part here where you can showcase, okay, what cards do I not have? For instance, I hit this button, I say, oh, I don't have Snow Guard, right? That's what this button here does. This here only has your favorited variants. If you unclick that button, you have every variation of every variant. So if you, for instance, click on this Electra, I can say, okay, I want, 
this to be my favorite version of Electra. So when I hit this button, it only shows that version of Electra. Where did she go? She's up here and not all the other ones that were originally available, right? You can sort by cost. So you can quickly find individual costed cards. You can sort by abilities like, hey, I just want to see all the destroy cards. Well, here they are. Uh, you can actually search by individual cards themselves. So you can say, uh, you know, Kingpin. And there's Kingpin right there, which is fantastic. You can actually sort by name, which could be useful. You can switch the order. You can sort by energy, power, what you recently picked up, right? So I recently bought or got Lady Deathstrike from a uh, spotlight variant. I bought the, the anime version of the Black Widow. Um, and then, of course, you can go to your upgradable. And you can actually sort by quality as well. These are all the, you know, infinite cards, etc. Then it scrolls down to the upgradable ones available in different tiers, right? So I think that there is a lot to love with the manner in which you can actually organize. Generally, I organize by energy, but regardless, there's a lot that you can do to kind of organize your collection, pick which favorite uh, variants that you like, and most importantly, enjoy the game. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic game with fantastic cards. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And if you're interested, if you're interested in seeing more Marvel Snap content, I got a ton more for you. Definitely check out my content. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I do weekly meta guides, a ton of videos every single week. And I'm happy that you're here with us playing this wonderful game. Thank you so much for watching. And use my link in the description down below to download the Steam version of Marvel Snap and earn yourself an exclusive Devil Dinosaur mech variant. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in game.